Roland. I'm here with Miss Harriet DeFoy, and I mean, we got so many similarities. I mean, I got my grandma in New Bern, North Carolina. I was born in Brooklyn. We might be related. We're cousins. New Bern and Brooklyn. I went to yes. PS46. Uh, you know, I went to Boys and Girls. Oh, okay. I'm hey, from guys. Brownsville, though. Okay, we were right on um, 154 Washington Avenue. Yes, we, cousins, we family. <laughs> <laughs> got people at Craven and Terrace and everybody. We got... lived on Second Avenue and then they moved over to uh, uh, Simmons Street. Come on in. Look at that. Used to live on Queens back in the day. How about that? But you you playing a, a such a such a such a layered role as as, as this pastor in this in this show, balancing. The voice of the conservatives and this relationship with your daughter. Uh, how does it feel to have a complex character like that in a story that is real complex with a black showrunner and, and creator? Like, how's it? Well, as an actor who's been in the business for some years and doing so much theater, it's like an honor, a blessing. It's like a kind of dream role you wait to play that has so many layers, so many colors, a character that people love to hate. And then you have to find what is human about her. How can you play her? What What are those things? What are the answers? What, what makes her act the way she does? And I think that's the part. That's the beauty of it. And that's the challenge as the actor for me to find out. So many HBCUs, HBCUs represent. How would you know? <laughs> I know you're a bison and it's everything. So how, I mean, you can't take I, how, how does it feel now to look around and see that there's so much HBCU alumni on the screen doing their thing, representing? Well, I have two sisters with me tonight. I mean, you can't go anywhere. HBCUs are the best. They produce the best. The talent, talented doctors, nurses, actors, everything you want. Yeah. It's a family. Like we are at Howard, fine, fine arts. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like our set is beautiful. It's a beautiful time we come together. We have so much fun. It's love. It's family. And I mean, y'all really played the story of what's going on with the pandemic when y'all doing the giveaways and everything else. Uh, I'm glad that y'all could represent and represent all these layers of what our culture is doing in different places and represent a lot of people's feelings in this in the show. Thanks for your performance. Thank you so much. It's our honor. It's our pleasure. We love our fans, and we can't wait to engage with them on Twitter. It's everything, because they are funny as hell. When they see that car wash scene. Babe, no. All this. I, you, there's so much. There's so much. I'm so interested to, to watch it with them tonight. I'm so, it's so crazy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, cousin. Thank you, cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal Finkley. Going on the future of this town, y'all's partner. Now, I know there's lots going on, but we got to get it going on for Chuck and Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord. Is that gonna be your campaign slogan? Yeah. Into America, we got to get it going on for Chuck and Lisa. Well, I, I can only do that with the help of y'all. There are a few referendums on the ballot. Oh yes, yeah. yes, one of them being for that casino. Yes, Pastor Woodbine, I think you know that one very well, since you're the only reason why it's even on the ballot. Well, the only reason you on the ballot is because a man's dead. But I digress. Yes, 